everybody. Welcome to Phantom Fights. Uh, I am here from a hotel room in Madison, Wisconsin. Nick is in a house in New York, New York. Or no, are you outside? Oh, of You're outside of the city. Yeah. yeah. Where are you? Outside of the city. Fair is, enough. Is uh, the, well, to my address that I'm comfortable giving out on the internet. <laughs> I'm nowhere near my address. So, uh, welcome to Fandom. I believe this is the final match of uh, round number one of Tis. the uh, team's tournament. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Yes. So, we got the uh, number one seed, Duel of the Fates, uh, going up against the number 16 seed, the Fun Uncles. These teams have played before. Nick, tell us about it. Indeed, Tim, these two teams played in their debut. Um, and set the set each other on a, on the paths that they are, are, are on that has led them back here to being the one and the 16 seed. Duel of the Fates has challenged for the belts this year. Uh, that was the last time we saw them was when they made their way to challenge Wookiee Mistake for the title. Uh, losing in that title match, I think they're back ready for some vengeance. Fun Uncles, what a chance to turn uh, their career, I believe their winless career up till now around, then maybe upsetting the number one seed, Tim. Yeah. If they were able to do that, that would be an incredible match. I think either way, we're in for a good one. Let's go talk to them right now in the promos. JPO, JPO I can't contain my emotions. I, I'm so proud of Brittany and Tyler. Like it, it just seems like like two months ago they knocked us out, and then we've seen them grow. They they competed for the championship. They're like a little niece and nephew. We we watched them this entire time, and now they're the number one seed in a tournament. I'm so proud of them, aren't you, JPO? Uh, I could shed a tear, but it's just it's just not coming. I'm so verklempt. I'm shedding plenty for you. It's okay. Oh, well, you guys, have you bought our? You did buy our shit. Yes. Yeah. But you have not bought the ultimate shit, which is a T-shirt with a bag of shit on it called "Buy Our Shit." Oh. When you buy that, you do us proud. When we're the champs, we will. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Nick, if my uh, spotty hotel Wi-Fi for free is telling me anything, it's that we're in for a good match here today. We're in for a good match. Uh, any thoughts on the promos before we get into it? Nope. All right. How does round number one work? Round number one is going to work like this. We're going to have 10 questions in the realm of fandom fights. Each player will answer individually on their whiteboard. If they get the question correct, that is worth uh, one point apiece. Uh, if any individual player gets all 10 questions correct in round number one, they would receive a bonus question. Uh, each team will have three repeats, one challenge for the entirety of the match. Players, any questions as we get in round number one? No. No. All right, then. Your first question comes in the category of Mission Impossible. In Mission Impossible... Ethan uses glasses disguised as a camera to send a live video of Jim Phelps to who? You do not wear glasses. Not anymore. Because he got that surgery. It's like Final Destination forward myself or whatever. I believe that was the fourth one. Good shit, Nick. No way. I believe so. Four. It's either the fourth or the fifth. Two. One pens down. Mike, let us know. You would know. Uh, let's go to Brittany. So Kitrich. And Jordan. Uh, Luther's a character. Uh, let's go to Tyler. I also said Kitrich. And Jacob. Uh, I have the correct answer of uh, someone who wanted to watch a live feed of the person. Kitrich is correct. So two to zero as we get into your next question, which is going to be in the category of Marvel. Who directed Daredevil? I will make this promise right now. That if I end up writing the Warzone Last One Standing, I will lit I will put a question in there that is, in which Final Destination film does someone uh, die because of laser eye surgery? There we go. The promise has been made. Yep, I will put it in there. Is, it, is it three? Get ready, people. Five. And now we'll know who watches this. Two, one, <laughs> down, Jordan. Mark Steven Johnson. Uh, let's go to uh, Ty uh, Tyler. I said Francis Lawrence. Uh, let's go to Jacob. Uh, I said John Favreau. And Brittany. It's Mark Steven Johnson. Uh, yeah. What did? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. What did there was Jordan? A, there was I, a had a, I had a T. 
Yeah. John, yes. Yeah, so Brittany then is correct. So very close, but it is three to zero. Uh, the next question is what, Nick? Comes in the category of alien versus predator. And the question is, the face hugger alien's tail is wrapped around which part of Kane's body in Alien? I was opening this little drawer in the desk here in the hotel to see if there was like a pen and paper or something. Uh, there's not. Oh, so. usually there. It's probably in there somewhere. You want me to go over there and look? Maybe later. Okay. Five. How, do you, how do you know the score still? Two. I have my phone. One. Hands down. I'm very badly typing it. Uh, let's go to Tyler. Around his neck. And Brittany? Or no. Stop, Brittany. Jacob. <laughs> yeah, don't skip me. Uh, the neck. <laughs> now you can go, Brittany. Okay. Yeah, I said neck too. <laughs> yeah. And Jordan. Neck. The all are correct. So five to two. Uh, your next question is going to be in the category of James Bond. How does Le Chief die in Casino Royale? So, no, I'm really tired. This uh, this weekend, I had the the pleasure of having Mr. Newberry in town, um, but we were we were up late every night watching movies and stuff, and I'm just I'm exhausted. That's and now so different I'm... from your normal routine. <laughs> Three, two. One, pens down. Fair. Uh, Jacob. I said drowns. Uh, let's go to Brittany. You shot. Let's go to Jacob. I'm not Jacob. Let's I listen. Sure Jordan, Jesus. See, I'm crazy. And Tyler. Yeah, shot. Shot is correct. So, seven to two. What is next, Nick? Next question comes in the category of DC. Which DC film features the characters Kathy Brennan, Ruby O'Carroll, and Claire Walsh? I'm forgetting people's names. I'm just all over the place. No, so last night, this is where this was going. Was we, we ended up going to the Packer game. Right. And we were there very late. We didn't get home until very late. And I got up very early to come to Madison. Can I guess who won? The sure. Packer. Yeah. Yeah, bears suck, Scully. Five. 50, 50 shot. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Brittany. The kitchen. Let's go to Jordan. Steel. Uh, Tyler. The kitchen. And Jacob. Apparently, Aaron Rodgers owns the Bears. I said Catwoman. Uh, that is accurate. Uh, but the kitchen is the correct answer. So it is nine to two as we get into your next question in the category of the MCU. Rhodey takes on one, sorry. Rhodey takes one of Tony's suits while Tony is celebrating what occasion in Iron Man 2? That's my new, I feel like you're doing it on purpose now to make I've this. Heard that. <laughs> okay. I'm trying. <laughs> Again, one mistake in how many how many questions you write a day? You said again one mistake. That means there were more than one. <laughs> Five. I meant in the whole match. Three, two, sorry. one. Pens down. Let's go to Jordan. I said birthday. Uh, let's go to uh, Tyler. I said Tony's birthday party. And Jacob. Uh, I said Tony's birthday. And Brittany. Yeah, his birthday, Tony's. I think we can take all the answers, right, Nick? Okay, so it is 11 to 4. Um, what is the next question? Your next question comes in the category of fandom quotes. And the question is, which Wizarding World character said the quote, red hair and a hand-me-down robe, you must be a Weasley? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Tyler. Said Draco Malfoy. And let's go to Jacob. Uh, that sounds like something Neville would say. Uh, does it? Let's go to uh, Brittany. Yeah, I, th I thought it was Draco as well. <laughs> and Jordan. Uh, Hermione or Hermione, misspelled. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Great go. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. I read All the right. first book. I never, I never spelled that name. <laughs> 13 to 4 is what I have next. Is that what you have? Yeah. All right. We're going to get into your next question in the category of horror icons. Who directed New Nightmare? This is one of those who directed questions. It is one of those ones. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. Tiny or Hermione or whatever. <laughs> I only read the first one. I've never spelled that name before. No, like, it's oh. fair. It, I guess it's phonetically, so we probably wouldn't have Am I any Y? Like, how do you spell it? Like, that's phonetically correct. Yeah, huh. <laughs> the fact that no one's answered that question, no one knows how to spell it. Quit laughing at him. Jacob. Uh, I, I said Wes Craven. Now uh, let's go to Brittany. I also said Wes Craven. And Jordan? I as well. The Craven of the West. And. Tyler. Wes Craven. That is correct. 15 to 6. What is next, Nick? Your penultimate question comes in the category of Star Wars. The question is, whose foot goes through the bottom of their skim speeder as they approach the First Order on crate in The Last Jedi? Ah. This is one of those whose foot goes through the bottom of a skim speeder question. <laughs> Yeah, way to overdo the same kind of question. <laughs> oh, I asked too many of these, but <laughs> I made that joke the other night while Cody was in, and I just he was just like just laughing his ass off on the couch when I was like, oh, maybe it's a good bit. I'll keep doing that one. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Jacob. I, I said Finn. Let's go to Brittany. I think I ruined my perfect round. I said Poe. Let's go to Jordan. Poe. Let's go to Tyler. I said Finn. Two of you are correct. It is Poe. Poe is correct. Poe. Okay. So Brittany did not ruin her perfect round. And as she oh so rudely she alluded does. to, he's still up for a perfect round with one question left, which is in the category of scores and soundtracks. The song When You Wish Upon a Star is from which Disney animated film? You enjoying your vodka? No, you can't. <laughs> there must be another way. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. It's down. Let's go to Jordan. Uh, is it the Disney, Disney Plus Smash It to Pinocchio? Uh, let's go to Tyler. Totally messed up. The Little Mermaid. Uh, let's go to Jacob. Uh, I also said Pinocchio. And Brittany for the perfect round. Pinocchio. Pinocchio yeah. is correct. So, Nick, with that perfect round, I have a score Good seven round. to nine. Is that what you have? Okay, so we're going to get into the uh, bonus question no, for yeah. Okay. Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, this no. is for, yeah, no, you good. I got you. Um, <laughs> just for you, Brittany, so you do not need to use your whiteboard. Are you ready? Yep. Name both fandom films that feature a television reporter named Roxanne. Oh. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna earn this one. <laughs> Ghost Rider and Mega Mind. That is correct for the bonus point. So it is 18 to 9 then, Nick. Uh, as we get into round number two, how is that gonna work? Round number two is gonna work like this. It is the wheel round. We have a wheel with eight phantom categories on it, as well as spinners and opponents choice. Each team will get a spin at the wheel if they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it. If not, they could choose to spin again. But they will be forced to keep what they spin the second time. Uh, you'll get five questions in the chosen category, each worth uh, two points apiece, unless you like to shut down the multiple choice, in which case it will only be worth one. And be on the lookout as ceiling is available in round number two. Your categories on the wheel today are, now that it is shared officially, uh, DC, YA, Marvel, DreamWorks, MCU, Star Wars, Pixar, and Planet of the Apes. Uh, take it away, Tim. All right, so uh, Duel of the Fates, uh, do you want to spin first or defer? I wasn't paying attention. You guys are winning? 
Yeah, I, I think so. Um, what, what's the score? Sorry. 18 it is to 18 nine. to 9. 18 to 9? Yes. Yep. Do you want just want to let them go first, take a little break, or do you want to go first, Tyler? Up to you. Uh, we can let them go first. All right, so I'm cool with that. Yeah, why not? Aren't you sweethearts? <laughs> then this will be the spin for the fun uncles. Spinner strikes. I don't know. Do you want to spin again or take? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> what, what, you, what you feeling, Papa? What you feeling? I'm kind of feeling Star Wars. Uh, but also Marvel or DC, because those are the two you decided to go with. Well, so here's the thing. If you want to take Star Wars because you're the bestest, and I'll just listen and go, uh-huh, 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 then sure. If you want my input, Marvel or DC. So it's up to you. I really okay. don't mind if Wait. you want to rock Star Wars. Okay. Uh, so Marvel or DC, which one? You choose. I'm, I'm proud of 50-50 on each. We're going to go with uh, Marvel, please. Okay. Nick, will you go ahead and give them their questions in Marvel? Gladly. The fun uncles, are you prepared for your questions in the category of Marvel? JPO said yes, so let's Great. go. Yes. Your first question. Which Marvel film features the character Moreau, a Frenchman who tries to get the main hero to help a mother and son in need? This does sound oddly familiar. Five, four, three. You. Multiple choice, Wait, please. Uh, multiple choice. Multiple, multiple choice. choice. Chris, your multiple choice options are: is it A. Kick Ass Two, B. Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance, C. Blade, D. Hulk. What the hell is this? What was that D option? Hulk. Oh, Hulk! I heard Hope. I'm like, what is Hope? Okay. Um, Russians. Uh, five. Frenchman named Moreau. Three, two. Let's go repeat, please. One. Okay. Okay. The, that's your first repeat. The question again. Which Marvel film features the character Moreau, a Frenchman who tries to get the main hero to help a mother and son in need? Is that Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance? Yeah, because I, I, I'm only leaning towards that based on, like, I don't feel like it's not the others kind of logic. Yeah. So, well, yeah. I think that the Giselle's character, I could be very wrong on that. But we're going to go ahead and go with uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Final answer. That was correct for one point. Ooh. Your second question Who plays Gene Gray in X Men The Last Stand? Uh, Fam K. Jansen. Yes. How are you pronouncing it? Yeah, last and third one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Fam K. Jansen, uh, final answer. That's correct for two points. Your third question. What is Gwen Stacy doing just before the construction equipment goes rogue and she falls from a building in Spider-Man 3? She's uh, modeling. They're taking pictures of her. Modeling or are they just celebrating modeling? They're, yeah, it's modeling. All right, go for it. Lock it in. Uh, modeling, final answer. That is correct for two points. I was thinking of Amazing Spider-Man. I'm like, she's not listening and not staying away from the fight. She does. Your penultimate question. What is the name of Eggsy's mother's abusive boyfriend who he confronts in a bar at the very end of the film, Kingsman, The Secret Service? Maybe multiple, but I'm not going to pull it off the top. Wait, you don't know this? Hey, man, if you know it, Rock. This isn't common knowledge? Oh, I don't know it either. Uh, multiple choice, please. All right, your multiple choice options are: is it A. Dean, B. Gary, C. Davy, D. Art? I feel like it's something like a Gary or an Art. Like, I like Gary sounded good to me. Okay, go for it. You got nothing? Nothing feeling towards you? No, I was gonna make a joke about Gary doesn't really sound abusive. But... Uh, that's that's I why I went there. Gary, yeah. final answer. That is incorrect. Dual the phase chance for a one point seal. Your options again are you A. Right. Dean, Gary's not a B. Gary. Okay, your options again are A. Dean, B. Gary, C. Davy, D. Art. Dean, right? Mm, yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Okay, A. Final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. Final uncle's your final question. Riot is killed inside what specific type of transportation vehicle at the end of Venom? Well, 
is it like a bus or a just, subway or a train? Do you want to shoot it or hear multiple choice and go from there? Let's go multiple choice, please. Thank you. Okay. Your multiple choice options are: is it A, a subway, B, taxi cab, C, rocket ship, D, hot air balloon? Oh, is this a, this is a rocket ship? I I cannot is, think of. Is this when they flew? Rocket ship, final answer. That's correct for one point. Yeah, it, it came to me once I said it. All right, so Nick, I have the score 19 to 15. Is that what you have? What I have, Tim. Okay, so we'll bring back the wheel and Mike, and this will be the span of four Duel of the Fates. All right. And a free spin. All right, so we will say goodbye to Mike and we'll, uh, I'm sorry, uh, fun uncle. Bye, Mike. To give to them. Bye, Mike. Um, we forgot to talk about this, JPO. Um, we're, we're the most prepared team in the league. I know, right? Do you remember? Because they picked Pixar. What was their other show? Do you remember? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, you want to go with uh, with uh, DreamWorks? Yeah. Okay. DreamWorks. All right. Uh, Duel of the Fates, I'll give you your questions in the category of DreamWorks animation. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. All right. Your first question. Which DreamWorks film features the Trojan War? What? Mr. Peabody Mr. and Sherman? Yeah, go for it, Tyler. Mr. Peabody and Sherman, final answer. That is correct for two points. Too long of a pause. It scared me. <laughs> Your next question. Who voices Lucky's father, Jim Prescott, in Spirit Untamed? It's uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay. Yeah, uh, Jake, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, final answer. That is correct for two points. Your third question. How many children do Hiccup and Astrid have at the end of How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World? Two. Boy and a girl, I believe. I believe so. I'm pr I'm cool. pretty confident to shoot if, if you're cool with that. Yeah, we uh, can go for it. Okay, uh, two final answer. That is correct for two more points. And I just totally messed up what I was typing. Is it twenty five fifteen? Uh, it is. We are answering oh. all five questions. No, I know. I'm just I literally erased what I had on accident, so I needed to double check. Gotcha. Okay, so your uh, penultimate question. In Shrek the Third, which fairy tale creature is put inside a glass box where you have to pay for him to perform in Far, Far Away? Sounds like Pinocchio. It does. I mean, do you just do you want to be do you want to be safe? Just or you, what do you think? Four. Uh, yeah, maybe it's multiple. Yeah. Just kidding. Yeah, mul multiple. Well, yeah, why not? All right, your options are A, Pinocchio, B, Gingy, C, Big Bad Wolf, or D, Maybell. I, I, I'm i still sticking with Pinocchio. What, what about you? Yeah, okay. No, uh, Pinocchio right. sounds about right. Okay, uh, A, final answer. That is correct for one more point. Right. And right. if Duel of the Fates hits this question for any point value, it will be a knockout. So long as it's not stolen for any point value. Correct. Correct. Yes. All right, your question. In Rise of the Guardians, what does Jack Frost find out his center is? Is it fun? Is it just fun? I, I don't know if it's just fun. I just I, let's just go. Else. Let's just go to multiple. I mean, we have the luxury to, so multiple choice. <laughs> All right, your options well, are A, yeah. fun. B, pride, C, joy, D, sacrifice. You do the honors, Tyler. Uh, fun final answer. And your winners by way of knockout, duel of the fates. The answer was fun. Uh, Nick, hell of a match. Hell of a match. Yes, Tim. 
What, uh, um, Brittany getting a perfect round. She she has one of those, right? Or was that the first one? At least one. I think she's got one of those. Uh, really good match, though. What'd you think? Yeah, great. Um, but listen, Duel of the Fates have proven themselves to be a title worthy team. Um, Fun Uncles have yet to do that. I'm excited for them to try again uh, in the future. But I do think I could be wrong. I think this might be the first time a team has knocked out another team more than once. Um, so maybe it's just the Fun Uncles Achilles heel. Uh, their name is Duel of Fates. Uh, but the fact is, Duel of the Fates uh, has just shown everyone in this tournament they are the number one seed for a reason. Yep. Let's get into post match interviews, starting with Fun Uncles. Right. Do we win? No. But Almost. We got very close. You guys surprised me. You did. You did very well. You did good in round one, uh, and then you uh, went through round two very well. Like any other team, you probably would have gone to round three against. Um, the fact is, they just played so well that there was there was no. There, they just weren't letting that happen. Even though you did very, as I said, you surprised me. You did very well. You went four for five in round two. Um, Great Thank job. you. Your voice didn't go that high, so I almost believe you. I would agree. You did well. You did, you did. Yeah. It's not too bad. No, I would agree. Um, fun uncles. Listen, you guys are fun. I don't know if you're uncles, um, but we love you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, that's great. It'd be weird if we weren't. Wouldn't it be kind of weird if we weren't? Yes. Very. I'm pretty sure we've actually talked about this several times. Fun uncles. In to no one. <laughs> well, would we have been that surprised? I don't know, but... <laughs> Guys, as I said, we love having you. It didn't go your way today against Duel of the Fates, but how do you feel about the match? Uh, Johnston? No, uh, no, man. Uh, you know, tremendous team we played against. There's, there's a reason they got that KO here. They, they know their stuff. You know, the, the spirit question. I'm trying to think. She just knew it right away. But hey, man, we're here to have fun. We're here to be the Java Squad. Make people look good. It's what we do best. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, fun out goes. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, this is your thank exit you from the me. tournament, but uh, thank you for playing. Great job. As we bring in our winners today, Duel of the Fates. What's happening? <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Uh, anyway, uh, Duel of the Fates, welcome. Congratulations. Uh, I'm winning a round one match. Uh, great job. Uh, second ever knockout uh, for you guys, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and like I said, I think it's the first time a team has knocked out another team twice. I don't know if that's correct, but it feels correct. Yeah, I so can't think of anything else, but we'll, we'll look at it. it. I'm going to go with it. Um, what a statement missing. Three questions overall. Brittany with a perfect round like you, and, and a knockout. Like in round number one, you guys are showing everyone else in this tournament that you are the team to watch out for. How are you feeling uh, post-match? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. <clears throat> like we haven't played, like you said, since May. So I, I feel like we really haven't skipped a beat. Like we seem to really still be in sync and stuff. And I like how, even though we played it safe, we, we, what we thought was the right answer was the right answer. So that's reassuring when we have to shoot in further rounds that we, we can trust our gut. So that I feel really good overall. And yeah, they did better than last time we played them. They did really, they did pretty well, honestly. Like I, I was surprised with their Marvel rounds. So I think they should be proud too, despite the knockout. We just didn't miss very much of anything. So this is true. yeah. Uh, Tyler, let me just check this out really quick before I ask you questions that will spoil things. Um, yeah. Tyler, uh, we saw your singles career uh, come to an end for this season uh, a, a, like two or three weeks ago. Uh, how are you feeling back on the horse and teams? Are you ready to like uh, get back into it? Uh, it feels good. Uh, I mean, it's always great to play with Brittany, so I'm always excited about that. It sucks about singles, um, but I'm but just glad I'm to be back here back. with Brittany again to that was weird. Uh, just getting to get back into the ring and keep going on, uh, kind of seeing, you know, some of that studying for singles, like coming in for this. So I was really happy about that. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm excited about this tournament. I love being in tournaments. So I'm excited to see where we go, how, how high we will fly in this one. Uh, Mike, I would ask you a question, though I feel you would not answer it and you would say something else. So I will just give you 20 seconds to say whatever you want, and then I'll tell you who they're playing. <laughs> Whale testicles. Anyway, uh, round, <laughs> round number two. Uh, you guys are moving on. This is a tournament. You have won your first round match. You're moving on to uh, the second round, as it were. Uh, and, and it's been far enough. You're, you'll be playing the winners of the first match of the of round one of the tournament. 
since you guys were the last match. So you'll be playing the number eight seed rookie team. Uh, you're also a rookie team. I forgot about that. But uh, rookie, team, <laughs> rookie team, uh, Young Justice, Cameron Holtzman, Javi Madden. Um, so thoughts about that matchup? I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, he's one of the best rookies to come out this year. He's really impressed everyone. And Cameron, someone I've been wanting to play for a long time. Um, so I think that's going to be a hell of a match. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. I'm really excited. Yeah. Great. I think we're all very excited as well. It's, uh, it's going to be a good one. Good uh, matchup of two rookie teams because, you know, yeah. you guys are a rookie team. Uh, but great job. Congratulations on the win. Tim, take us home. Yeah, great match. Uh, Duel of the Fates proving why they're the number one seed. And uh, I agree with that sentiment of uh, Fun Uncles doing a lot better than they did last time. They continue to improve each match. Probably get even better the next time. So looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to the rest of the tournament. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Fandom Fights. Thank you to the teams. Thank you to Nick for writing this one. I've been Tim. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. We are so glad you came. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>